So sample is now spun down. Um, the door button is over here. Press it in, door lifts up. Um, we reverse the order, we, we um, attach the lid, so we turn the black off button clockwise, and then the silver knob clockwise as well. It allows us to remove the lid. And now I'm going to take out my samples, and we can see that there are pellets um, at the bottom. Okay. So now we're going to um, discard the supinatant and then transfer these pellets to amplifiers. So number one, we discard the supinatant. And I like to have a, a, a paper towel around um, to collect any um, liquid that's going to drip because otherwise it will, um, labels will smear. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is add 500 microliters of 70% ethanol to each tube um, just to provide a little more liquid to help us with the next step. So 500 microliters into each tube. All right. Next step is a little bit tricky. We want to transfer the label that's uh, the, the pellet that's here into an epinorph tube. And you'll notice I have some epinorph tubes pre-labeled number one and two for the successive steps. Steps. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blue tip, still set at 500 on the P1000 pipetman, and I'm going to gently. Um, uh, pour, um, squirt at the, at the pellet to try and get it to come off the sides, okay, and I've done that, all right? So now I've got a pellet and I'm swirling it, and what I want to do is I want to then transfer it in one fell swoop into the tube, okay? If all goes well, the pellet is in the tube together with the, the, the rest of the supinator and the 70% um, ethanol and there's very little material left in the tube. Now there's a little bit of supinate left in there. I'm going to collect that and maybe any little bit of pellet that's there and then combine it. Right. So that's sample number one. I'm going to save the label so I can remember what number one is. And let me do it now for the second sample. I've got my pellet. I'm going to squirt at the pellet to lift it off the sides. This works easiest if the um, centrifuge tube is not really old. Now I can actually see a little bit of pellet down below here which is not respinning. So I'm actually trying to try and squirt at that to get that to lift off. There we go. So now I've got my pellet lifted off the side at uh, the bottom of the tube. I'm swirling it to make sure it doesn't just stick to the side of the tube, I'm going to now transfer it into the Eppendorf tube. You have to do this relatively quickly, otherwise it'll tend to stick. Um, so again, I've got most of my pellet in the tube. I've got a little bit of supinatant and maybe a little bit of, just a little bit of pellet in there. I'm just going to collect that with this material. Notice that I closed the tube with number one after I was done with it. That um, uh, reduces the chance I'm going to mix up my samples. And there we have it. So now this sample, um, I've got my, I transferred the samples into the tube. So all I'm going to do now is centrifuge these in the micro centrifuge for one minute just to pellet out what's here. 